Um, I am not surprised. Uh, I am convinced that the infection has been probably circulating in Italy for at least 20 days. And I think that most of the cases are non-symptomatic or do not deserve any medical attention. And so my impression is that the cases that are being detected now are actually, um, it's because of active surveillance and we are finding viruses that had been around for a while, but that may have not caused the death of the patients. The patients have died with the virus and not of the virus. If it does become bigger than it currently is, do you think the Italian health system can cope with it? The Italian health system is very well developed and uh, is very also very well present on the Italian territory. Certainly, this is the dawn of a pandemic uh, from a virus that was uh, in the jungle until two months ago, and it's very difficult to fight an enemy that you don't know. And so it's the first time. It will be difficult, but I'm confident that the Italian authorities know what they're doing. The fact that most other countries have been able to trace the spread or the source of the uh, COVID-19, how worried are you that, that this hasn't been done yet in Italy? Well, I think that there have been multiple introductions in Italy. Um, probably because um, there was no surveillance going on at the beginning of January and around the middle of January, which is probably when the infection entered um, the country. If you look at the dates of um, entrance in hospital of, of these patients and you look at where they live, it's quite clear that these people were in isolated places or they were hospitalized for a while and um, and you know that's how they got infected so this means that there's been a lot of circulation of this virus before these patients were hospitalized or through their relatives this virus is spreading quite easily um, we see that only people with very serious underlying conditions um, die uh, with this infection, not necessarily of this infection. And therefore, I think that we should reposition this emergency as an influenza-like illness caused by a coronavirus. At this point, I don't see why this disease should not be treated like a novel influenza uh, pandemic.